I believe that we should amend the Fourth Amendment because it invades our personal privacy. This includes the government puts it, like tracking devices in our cars and our cell phones, and that invades our Fourth Amendment privilege. Um, for example, in our modern day, modern day cars, people there the government puts um, tracking devices in our cars that can basically tell them that when we when we put our seatbelt on, and then in our cell phones they can call or if we call they know who we're gonna call when we called them and all that stuff. And then that invades our personal privacy and if you go on the computer, they can see what you're doing, track who's ever doing it, and so on and so forth. Yeah, that was it. Every American living in the United States has human rights as uh, should all citizens around the world. How can we keep human rights when citizens are not even aware of what they are? Well, for the uneducated who don't understand, all citizens deserve rights as should expect rights, such as liberty, life, the pursuit of happiness. In our society, we have inequality all around. My take on the aspect of inequality is to propose an amendment that states all American citizens have the right to access basic health care sponsored by the government. There are 47 million Americans that have no health care. The fact that 9 million of these uninsured individuals are children is a crime. In 2007, 10,400 children under the age of 15 were diagnosed with cancer. In December 2012, Nevada and Rhode Island had the highest rate of unemployment at 10.2%. This puts Americans' families just struggling to get by at risk of financial ruin. It is important because Americans are granted the pursuit of happiness in the Declaration of Independence. How can families be happy when they are worrying about the health of their children and the high cost of health care, let alone where their next meal will come from? This is the pursuit of happiness. Not to me, really. Every American is born with rights, but how can they survive when they don't even have the medical care needed? This amendment is focused on those of us who are in need of health care most. The federal system will promote a primary, preventative, and developmental health care. By starting health by starting life healthy, this will reduce the high cost of health care that is an issue today. Okay. I am proposing the 20th Amendment of the Constitution for the United States. Uh, this amendment that I am proposing uh, is that alcohol be illegal to in all states uh, to anyone under the age of 27. I am making this amendment because the use of underage alcohol has increased in the past 100 years. Uh, some states have legalized the consumption of alcohol at the age of 21 and some even as low as 18. Uh, underage drinking is a very dangerous uh, and serious thing. This was proven on December 20th, 2012 when a 19 year old David B uh, drank nearly four times the legal alcohol limit and died in his sleep. Uh, local police say that it was very much pre-planned that the goal here was to get the pledges extremely intoxicated, meaning the 19-year-old had plans to consume massive amounts of alcohol. Studies prove that alcohol consumption can lead to depression and suicide in young adults, and there are many health risks to drinking, such as cancer, uh, cardiovascular disease, seizures, and many more. Uh, underage drinking can lead to some dangerous and life-changing events, such as unprotected sex, uh, sex with multiple partners, and increased risk of sexual assault. This can lead to uh, unexpected pregnancies. Uh, the age of 21 is a bad time for people to be introduced to alcohol because it is such a crucial part of life. At this age, you may be going to college or just graduating college and going out on your own. Uh, you are determining what you will be doing, where you will be, and who you will be spending the rest of your life with, life with at this time. And, yeah, that's it. I'm proposing that Article 4, Section 4, which is the federal protection for states, um, and it says that uh, it allows the government to send in troops into a state uh, 
to guarantee law and order, the president may send in troops even without the consent of the state government involved. I believe that the federal government should not be able to send in troops even without the consent of the state of government involved. With allow without with allowing federal troops to enter a state without state's consent, it, it fit. Uh, ah. You want to redo it one more time? No. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> with um. With allowing federal troops to enter a state without state's consent invades our peace and privacy. This becomes about the government, not about the people. It becomes a dictation and an overruling of our civil rights and our freedoms. We don't need this section of article anymore. We have protection if we need it. National Guard, etc. But being able to send in armed troops whenever without consent of state is not needed. Hi, I'm Craig, and I'm proposing the 20th Amendment. My amendment will give the president a more fair chance to be voted into office by a popular vote and not by electoral college. If we get rid of ele electoral college, you will get a better results and more of an equal chance to be voted into office. I'm not looking to take away the right to bear arms. Although, a normal citizen should not be allowed to have a military weapon. This will take the more advanced and dangerous weapons away from dangerous people. This will, this will also make it harder to get access to these weapons. Also, there is no need for regular citizens to have these weapons in their possession because they have no use for them. And the framers of the Constitution, like Jefferson, like Jefferson and Washington, would not want people to have automatic weapons because they couldn't foresee how weapons became more advanced. I do not want to take away the right to bear arms, but citizens should not have military weapons. The Eighth Amendment states that you have the right to bail and, ha right to bail and have no cruel or unusual punishments. I say that we should get rid of the bail because Criminals that committed any crimes should do full time. If we let them go free because of bail, they will not have learned anything and might possibly commit other crimes. We should also get rid of bail because of how much it costs to let someone go. If someone murdered anyone, um, that person should not be allowed to have bail. That person needs to serve full time for what has happened. Yeah, that's I am proposing the 28th Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America. The amendment I am proposing is to abolish the 8th Amendment. Uh, instead, it will allow courts to indict the convicted felon with excessive fines and or cruel and or unusual punishment. If this amendment were to go through, people would be less likely to commit crimes, saving money on prisons and law enforcement agencies. That's all.